In this problem, I know f of x is a rational function, 1 over x plus 2, and g of x is another rational function, 4 over x minus 1. And I have to find the composition g composed with f of x and its domain. So the first thing we do is we need to write the definition down of g composed with f of x. Remember, it's g at f of x. So we're going to get rid of the inner quantity first. So that means I have to find g at, well, what is f of x? It's 1 over x plus 2. So remember, if you get confused at this point, because I have x's here and x's up here, all you have to think about is, in my definition of g, it's g of something is 4 over that something minus 1. And who am I going to put in that something? 1 over x plus 2. So g of 1 over x plus 2 is 4 divided by 1 over x plus 2 minus 1. So I think you can see all I did was take this 1 over x plus 2 and plug it in here. So now all I have to do is simplify this complex fraction. And the easiest way of doing that is finding the LCD. So the LCD is fairly easy since I only have one denominator. It's going to be x plus 2. And all I have to do is I multiply the numerator by the LCD and both terms in the denominator by the LCD. And the reason we do that is this reduces. And what do I get? My numerator is 4 times the quantity x plus 2, all divided by 1 minus the quantity x plus 2. So all I have to do is simplify this. We can multiply out the numerator. We don't have to. I think it'd be better to leave it in factored form. But the denominator, we have to simplify it. So it's 1 minus x minus 2. So it's 4 times the quantity x plus 2 over, let's have a look what we have in the denominator. I have 1 minus 2. So that is going to give me negative x x and a minus 1. If I combine my like terms of 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We never leave it with the denominator looking like this. We nearly always factor the negative out of the denominator. So I'm going to factor out the negative 1 and that's going to give me x plus 1 in the denominator when I factor the negative out. And we never leave negatives in the denominator, so 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4 times the quantity x plus 2 over the quantity x plus 1. And that is g composed with f of x. We have found our simplified form of the composition of g composed with f. Now I need to move on and find the domain of this function. Well, I'm going to have to look at the unsimplified form. And unfortunately, I've kind of messed it up here. So you have to look at the terms in black. So my unsimplified form, if I wrote it out here, it'd be 4 over 1 over x plus 2 minus 1. That is the unsimplified form. Are, are there any domain issues in here? Yes, definitely. Remember, we can never divide by 0. 
So I know that x plus 2, this denominator, cannot equal 0. So our first problem comes from x plus 2 can't equal 0. So that means x cannot equal, subtract 2 from both sides, negative 2. Then what we have to do is we have to simplify this denominator, and I can take that by looking at the simplified form. And when it's simplified, are there any problems in this part? Yes, again, I have a denominator, and I know that this denominator, x plus 1, cannot equal 0. So I know that x cannot equal negative 1. So I think you can see that if I just looked at the simplified form, the only domain issue I'd see is x can't equal negative 1. That's why we have to also look at the unsimplified form to see this domain issue here. So what is the domain? The domain is all real numbers except x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1. So that's one way of writing it. And if I want to do it in interval notation, if you think about the number line, here's negative 2, here's negative 1. I need everything to the left of negative 2, everything between negative 2 and negative 1, and everything to the right of negative 1. So what would that look like? Negative infinity to negative 2, in parentheses, because I'm not including the negative 2. Union with the middle section, negative 2 to negative 1. Unioned with negative 1 to infinity. So depending on how you're asked for the answer, you can write it out or write it in interval notation.